In this House of Logic video, we're going to have a look at LXC containers on Proxmox. Uh, first of all, what you need to do is you need to go and find your local storage or wherever you have your, um, your container uh, template volumes set up. And what you want to do when you're on there is you want to go and explore the templates option. Um, now, I'm saying it's best to start here because uh, Proxmox actually comes with a number of templates already set up and configured. You can if you wish to, I'll just cancel out that. Um, also choose to download from a specific URL for an LXC container, or to actually upload the tar.zst file. Now, in this video, we're gonna do the basic options of exploring the actual templates. So under here, what you have is a number of standard operating systems um, that you can um, you can pull down, and you also have um, some turnkey Linux images, which actually already feature some packaged up um, applications. So what we'll do, we're actually gonna do um, two of these. We're gonna go with Ubuntu 22.04, and we're gonna pull down a turnkey Linux um, uh, Apache and Tomcat installation, if I can find it somewhere in here. I can't remember if it's under Apache Tomcat or Tomcat Apache, so let's have a look. By searching, okay, it is under Tomcat Apache. So I'm going to click on download, and then what that's going to do is it's going to pull down the actual um, container images, or image, I should say, um, for this particular option for Linux. And that's going to take a few seconds. And while that's going on, um, well, actually, we'll, no, we, there we go. We can just wait this one out. And then we're going to do the same. Um, there we go. Task OK with the Ubuntu. Oh, we've actually already downloaded it. I've forgotten. I've already done that. OK, um, so this is exactly the same process. So you can choose the, uh, the Ubuntu image under templates. And off you go. So just picking it in here and then clicking the download button. So you want to go to your uh, your node and you want to right click and choose create CT for container. Um, when you're in there, you can then type uh, in the host name you want to use. So let's go with turnkey Apache. And uh, then you've got to pop in a password. You can use a password or a uh, SSH key. I'm going with a password for ease here. Then on the next page, you want to choose the template that you want to use. So uh, in our case, we're gonna go with the Tomcat Apache, and then we can continue. Um, so um, no particular mount options. I'm gonna go with the standard storage. We're not gonna add any additional uh, mount points or anything, um, which you can obviously do if you cut, want to customize it further. Um, no ACLs or anything required. Um, again, take the default here, one core. And for memory, we're going to take the um, the 512 meg options. Uh, for network, we're going to go with DHCP, um, which we'll use to look up uh, the details in a moment. And um, yeah, we, it's there's no uh, VMBR um, zero. There's only one um, virtual switch on this um, host, and there's no VLAN to set either. But you obviously you can specify that if you so wish. Um, and uh, that is around about, oh yes, uh, DNS. Uh, again, we're using the host settings. So if it needs to talk to the internet, it can find those. And we can then hit finish and let that be created. So this doesn't take that long. Um, it should be done in just a few seconds. Okay, and that has been created. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start it and then we're gonna connect using the console to it. So that's starting up now and we are going to go to console. Let's make that a little bit bigger. So because this is turnkey, as I mentioned earlier, this has got some built-in applications. So the um, Tomcat Apache server um, offers support for various Java web apps um, and possibly other things as well. So once we're here, we can then log in using the root user and the password we specified during setup. Um, 
This is now going to ask us for a password to, for the Tomcat admin details. So we're going to put one in there and the same on the next page. Uh, we don't have an API key because we're just demoing this so we can skip it. And the same is true of the system notifications. It's the kind of thing that you do really want to set up if you're, you're using this in anger, but we don't need that for the purposes of this video. So we're going to skip that other security updates option, which is not something you would normally do. Now you can see here we've got the IP address of 192.168.5.161. Uh, in the advanced menu, I recommend that you do go through this option and you choose advanced and then you choose the quit option. Now, I believe if you don't do this, it can actually decide that it's not going to entirely cooperate with you on um, on adding uh, content to the web server. Uh, I'm not entirely certain why, but um, I have tested this a couple of times and it hasn't exactly behaved how I'd have expected. Um, so if we go to the var slash www directory we have an index.html which if we go and uh, we're not going to have a look at it yet we're going to go and uh, edit it so we're going to do nano um, the index.html and we're going to change this so it's it's overriding um, the location and it's, uh, it's taking us to the cp control panel location we don't want this script here at all so we're going to get rid of it and we change that tag to be title and we'll call it um uh, lx oops lxc demo and close the title tag and then put a body tag underneath the header so make that one body um and whoops 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 mrs miggins there go your artichokes or whatever you like really um, and we will close the body tag there like so control O to save in, um, in nano control X um, so if we do we saw the IP address I think it was 161 let's just check it um, 192.168.5.161 so if we go to a new tab 192.168.5 dot one six one hopefully yeah there we go so that has worked and we have uh, an apache web server up and running um in what under five minutes or so um maybe slightly longer but um but you can you can see it has got the title of lxc demo it's got the content i typed in a, a few minutes ago um so that's a, a very straightforward um use for how you would stand up a web server um, using the turnkey appliances and there's there's lots of different options within there and um, as to which images will do different things for you if you want more of a, a straight up actual um, operating system style container which you might use as the basis for your own containers um, then what you could do is go in and if you want to say let's do an Ubuntu one I'm going to password as well on here um, which we'll is our template on the next page. We'll go with the Ubuntu template this time and the disks. Again, we'll take the same default options. Again, same defaults on the CPU. Um, we'll go with the DHCP again on there and same with the DNS. And we'll go with all of that as being straight out of the box, so to speak, and deploy that as a fresh Ubuntu container. Now, one of the things that, of course, that is important about containers is that whilst they are immutable, you'd also want their actual storage um, not to be quite so um, completely immutable because you uh, you may want to store things within them or mount other things directly up into them. So what we're going to do here then is um, we're going to start this one up and we'll do the same with the other container as well in a moment. And we will go and put something into the file system and then we're going to reboot them uh, or we'll turn them off and turn them on again so again log in as root um, and here we are in, which should be in the root um, directory here so in the root home directory we're going to go and do a um, let's just do nano again I'll do nano test file dot txt hello Proxmox, that'll do. And then save it. Um, and then what we can do is we can do a uh, reboot on the machine. 
which if we do like that. In fact, I probably should have done a full power off, but we're going to do that over here. So we're going to shut down this um, the turnkey Apache container. So the console onto here, I would hope, has... Yep, so that's the Ubuntu one. I'll tell you what, we're actually going to turn this one off as well. And then we'll turn it back on again. Okay, so both are off. Uh, if we try and refresh that, that should fail. We have a spinning wheel. That's fine. Um, now we're going to turn them back on again. Okay, so refresh that. There we are. That's up and running as it's expected. And let's go back into our Ubuntu container here and we'll go in and log in yet again. And if we do an ls, there's our test file and we can read the test file using the ls command. And it says hello Proxmox. And that's it. it's running. It's a container and it has some um, storage which we've been able to write to and um, which we can then uh, which we then have confidence will work in the event of uh, a reboot being required um so that's about it for this uh, for this demo i think there's going to be a part two um where we're going to look at some lxc containers and how to create additional template images of these um and what what else you can uh, well primarily um how how you would use these to uh, to sort of scale out and um, stamp and repeat your um your actual containers should you wish to do so um well that's about it for now so thanks very much for watching please like and subscribe if you like doing that kind of thing um otherwise we will catch you next time thanks very much bye now